Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making video about uh, top 10 defenders, the best defenders in game. Uh, that is my opinion and uh, I'm making this video from my, my experience and uh, what I can see in game and uh, hopefully that will be helpful for you to choose defending team but as you know there is no the best defending team and every uh, team can be beatable with uh, different sets of the heroes so i'm making this video of top 10 and uh, hope that will help you to choose own defending team for ice arena um, master tournament or arena so <clears throat> let's start on a 10th place is the hero which is i don't have yet but uh, after my last experience in uh, master tournament she was actually not bad and uh, i will tell you uh, the good things and bad things about that hero and uh, she is on my top 10 so basically the best things what she does it's uh, she found uh, all heroes for free turns and she increasing her self armor and uh, resistance by 500% so basically all heroes will aim her and in the meantime she got high defense and uh, which is you know the usually in a team against melis everybody aim melis but in that case melis will be free and they will aim her and uh, the bad thing about her that uh, heroes which are dealing the uh, mass uh, unique skill like a custodian or alice they will damage everyone anyway so it doesn't really help so and uh, also she can stun if she will have a chance because the uh, loads of silence and uh, stun going around and they usually people put her in uh, last position and uh, so basically i think she will not gonna have any chance to make turn and stun anybody right uh what else i can say and uh, that's it about that hero so on the ninth place on my top 10 defenders team is uh, Anubis. Anubis is actually a great hero and uh, when your team was beaten he gives uh, another life for two turns so in them two turns you may have uh, if you're lucky to increase your life uh, by the melees or you still got two turns to beat uh, enemy who was trying to attack you so that hero is actually useful even with the three stars okay but that hero don't have anything else like a stun and uh, silence nothing else no boss so on the next hero on the eighth place is uh, Crowley. What I can say about that hero? She is very good uh, against the team with uh, Tunderon and Daya. Uh, basically, she can bind with the um, with her unique skill all heroes so Daya won't be able to move around the um, 
uh, battle area and uh, another thing which is good she's doing lots of house and it's a random one but if you're defending and she house the uh, enemy you can easily win the battle so she is very useful in that point and uh, she's not hitting hard but the usually who is attacking they got strong team so if she use the house they may beat themselves so i would say she is very useful in defense basically she, she doesn't give any defense but the house make uh, can make the battle change uh, you to win that battle so on the seventh place is a uh, warlord in my list and uh, that hero is still useful not the best uh, like he used to be but see, still he is very good he can uh, uh, reduce the attacking team uh, attack damage by 80% for two turns which is helps and also he can bind the enemy uh, basically the team like uh, Tundron and uh, Daya uh, is very helpful to bind the Daya in that team because he can destroy any defending team if it's in the right way so also that hero warlord can deal the massive uh, finish skill and uh, also he is useful when he is using his unique skill he can stun enemy for two turns right in uh, six place in my list i don't have that hero but i've been fighting against that hero uh, lots of times and uh, it is the chronotus uh, he is kind of the same hero like uh, uh, barbara but uh, barbara is supposed to be a tank but she's uh, i don't know for some reason she's the warrior so basically the Hronotus doing the same he is uh, uh, with his finish skill doing some cycle and for three turns he uh, towned the enemies and all enemies try to aim him but the problem is that uh, he don't have that high uh, defense like Barbara got and uh, the good thing about him as well that he doing that cycle and uh, uh, everybody who trying to go across that cycle they stopping so which is again is very good against the Tunderon and the Dyer's team so they won't be able to do that massive damage and uh, also he got not but the unique skill not that strong but still uh, powerful after i think couple rounds he is uh, hitting very painful so to have that hero you need to uh, upgrade him maximum his defense so he will be more useful right uh, next hero is uh, one of the new heroes and it is uh, knight headless the good thing about that hero and i've been saying in my other videos and he's in my top five uh, that he giving the uh, defense uh, reducing magic by 80 and reducing the attack damage by 50 for two turns which is very very good and very useful and uh, also he got immune to house 
and so if he start first with the um, unique skill like used to be people was stopping uh, such heroes with the Alice so you won't be able to stop him with Alice uh, he will still will be able to use his unique skill and uh, he is very good even uh, his combo skill is very strong and unique skill is strong as well so basically when you're defending uh, you need to think as well how to beat the enemy so that hero is one of them uh, who can beat the hero but need couple rounds anyway and uh, that's it about him so okay next one is uh, our great defender uh, Giganticum Giganticum is uh, in the top 4 in my list everybody knows that he give lots of defense for the uh, all battle and uh, if people trying to hit you in a or they can hit you without Giganticum in one shot with uh, Custodian but if you will put the Giga in your defending team they won't be able to do it and G Giga is very good working with the uh, Headless Knight and uh, he so basically in two turns nobody will be able to beat you definitely because there is a very 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 high defense and uh, also Giganticum is good against the again Dire and uh, uh, Tundron team because he can bind and uh, which is stopping the heroes moving around the map also he got strong unique skill and while he is doing unique skill he can bind enemy for two turns uh, which is helpful and uh, against the Tundurum and Dire team usually because other heroes can do finish skill or unique skill even if they are bind right on the third place is uh, Bio Santa he is very old hero but he is still useful against the new heroes old heroes and all all heroes in the game he, if you don't have him you are very struggle to beat or defend uh, you need to get him at some point because and try to up upgrade him maximum as you can and uh, so the good things about that hero that he got he give immune for four turns against house bind and uh, all that things that uh, heroes uh, stun and all such things so with the passive skill he can uh, uh, bind as well uh, with the combo skill he can uh, house and uh, basically he is very useful in every battle doesn't matter if he is in attacking or if he is defending uh, is a good hero and you need to have him definitely also he is good against the Turned around in Dire team because he can bind and he can stop the Dire to move around the map. Right. Okay, the top two 
in on the second place i bet you already know it's uh, surma and melis and um, the good hero very great hero does the best healer in a game and uh, he that hero need to be in a team anyway because at some point in a battle you will need the heal and she can give you that heal and sometimes even with the unix skill when she healing when she healing herself i mean uh, on on team she can make massive damage with her unix skill and sometimes she can kill it so but the problem with that hero everything like uh, baron custodian everybody aim her and try to silence and uh, stun her so you probably will need uh, bio santa for that so the so the attacking team won't be able to beat you in the uh, first two turns and uh, if usually people put her in the first place uh, because after custodian uh, hit we need a heal straight away and uh, if somebody will use the baron first they will stun her and she won't be able to do heal so that's why you will need bio santa so she can do some heal in the first round but on the second it's a random you never know what's gonna be you can probably win or lose and uh, like i said there is no the best defending team at this moment and uh, the amount of heroes everybody got they can easily choose set against any uh, defending team and uh, as you know I already you already know who is there in the first place in the first place is a baron baron infernos very 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 useful very great hero uh, everybody got him every top player got him because he is dealing amazing amazing uh, damage he is great in defending and uh, like i said if you're defending you don't need you should remember that you need to kill the uh, enemy also so that hero is a great for it he's a great defender great attacker um, great hero so the great things about that hero that he is uh, doing a shield for four turns that can reflect 50 percent of damage surface back to enemies so basically if somebody hit you hard they will get half of that uh, they will lose half of that in own life uh, also he got very strong unique skill and he also can stun for two turns and uh, and that's about it about it so you seen my top 10 defenders team and uh, soon i will make another video with the top 10 of attacking heroes uh, there is lots of heroes joined to that top 10 after my previous video so leave your comments if i forgot to say something about somebody that may help to other heroes or another players and uh, like this video if it was useful for you and subscribe my channel and uh, see you next time